Hey guys, Mr. Mice is here, and this is the essential. Oh wait, I'm little. I'm little. Let me make me big. Whoa, I'm big. Hey, Mr. Mice is here, and this is uh, essentials for calculus, and we are doing the lesson two dash two. This will be. I'll split this into two videos. First one, we will look at infinite limits. So, and um, so um, we're talking about limits that may go to infinity. Then the second video, we're going to look at limits at infinity. So the limit as x approaches infinity. So let's take a look at our first one, 2-2a, infinite limits. Just a quick review here. We've got a function. And if we wanted a graph of that function, we remember that if we can simplify it at this x value, we are going to have a hole. So we have a hole at x equals 1. Looking at the rest of this, we know that we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 2. And that's even because it has an even power. And we have an odd vertical asymptote at x equals 4 because we've got an odd power on that. So just a review, an even powered vertical asymptote or an even vertical asymptote means that the function goes towards that vertical asymptote either above, going both up, or both down an odd one they go in opposite I try to do this little thing opposite direction right like this or the other way around okay anyway they go in opposite directions all right let's take a look at some of these problems so in these examples we've seen where a limit does not exist at a vertical asymptote so for non-existent limits that it, it approaches infinity we can write it as approaching positive infinity or negative infinity if it's even. If they're odd, of course, it does not exist. But if it's even, we can go negative or positive infinity. So let's take a look at that because we're going to, you know, later on we're going to want to do that. So let's take a look at some of these. What we want to do in these first examples is we want to use our knowledge of even and odd vertical asymptotes as well as holes to do these problems. So. We're going to do one-sided limit here. Now, we know that if we plugged in 2 into this function, we're going to end up with 0. We're going to end up with 3 over 0, right? I'm sorry, 3. I can't even add 5 over 0. 5 over 0 is going to go to either infinity or negative infinity, depending on which way we're coming towards. So let's think of this. This is what I call sign analysis. We're just basically thinking of what's going on very, very, very close. So if I picked a number very, 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 very close, and my daughter does that all the time, very, very, I'm very, 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 very hungry, very, very close to 2 from the right. So that means bigger than 2. So whenever we see this plus here, that means bigger than 2. All right. All right. So we're coming bigger than 2. So like 2.0001. Uh, if I have 2.001, then that means that um, this number on the bottom, 2.0001 minus 2, is going to be a positive number. So this is a positive number. This top here is still going to be a positive number. A positive number divided by a positive number is going to be a positive number. So my answer for this is going to be positive infinity. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. If we take a look at from the left, so this time we're coming from the left. From the left means we're coming from a smaller number, right? So the left means this is going to be left. This is a smaller number. Smaller number. So like 1.9999. Now 1.9999, if we're coming from the left, 1.999, the bottom here is going to be a negative. The top is still going to be a positive. A positive divided by a negative is going to be a negative. So that means my answer is going to be negative infinity. Now, since the left and the right are not equal, we know that if we wanted to find the limit as x approaches positive 2 from just no one-sided, then we would know that we'd say this does not exist because the left and the right limit don't equal. We also know, know that because this x minus 2 is an odd vertical asymptote. We know that odd vertical asymptotes either go, they go in opposite directions, right? So we would know that it does not exist. All right, let's take a look at another one here. So let's do the same type of sign analysis here. 
and sign analysis. I can't even talk. Blah, blah, blah. Sign analysis here. We put the one in there. We get zero. All right, we're going to have negative one over zero. So we know it's going to go to an infinity. It's going to be a vertical asymptote. If we put, if we go one from the uh, right, think of the number like 1.0001, so it's bigger than one, right? We're going to have a positive number on the bottom. And 1.00001 is going to be a negative number on top, which is going to give me a negative. So I'm going to have a negative infinity. If we look at the same one here, same function going from the left, that's going to be like 0.9999. That's going to give me a negative squared, which is still going to be positive in the denominator, still going to be negative in the numerator, which is going to be a negative. So this is still negative infinity which makes sense because this bottom is a even is an even vertical asymptote and we know from above that even vertical asymptotes go the same direction all right all right last one here if i plug 2 in here i'm going to get 0 over 0 so let's see we can simplify this bad boy here so limit as x approaches 2, x plus 2, x minus 2, over x minus 2. I can factor. This guy drops out. So automatically, I know if it drops out, I have a hole at x equals 2. I'm still going to do the limit here. Compute my limit. And I'm going to get 4. So the hole is actually, the point that the hole is going to be at is 2 comma 4. All right? All right, there we go. So we've got what we call infinite limits. Limits that when we calculate them out, they go to infinity. In the next video, we'll look at limits at infinity. So as x approaches positive or negative infinity. Okay, here we go. Catch you later.